Today let's draw the pattern using the shape or the circle present on another canvas. So I'll go ahead and add another canvas to our HTML document and I'll give it an ID called pattern. I'll take this canvas relatively small so I'll give its width and height as 50 pixels. Remember if the browser doesn't support canvas tag it will show the text between these tags. Now I have applied 2 pixels dotted black border for both the canvas here. So this is our canvas, first canvas with 400 into 400 pixels and the small one 50 into 50 pixels beside it. So the small one is our actual pattern, we'll use the shapes present on that canvas that is 15 to 50 pixel canvas and draw it on our bigger canvas. Let me first get the second canvas and then extract its context APIs. So get element by ID, the ID is pattern, I'll call it as P canvas which means pattern canvas and pattern context. Now I'll use this pattern context and first draw a small arc on it. So since it is 15 to 50 pixels, I'll take, I'll start drawing at 25 into 25 and with a starting angle of 0 and an ending angle of 360 degree. We need to stroke it in order to see it on the canvas. Let's have a look on the browser. This, this one, okay. To make it look somewhat clear, I'll even stroke style it with some, uh, let me apply, apply red color here. Let me quickly also apply fill stroke to it of blue color. Also let me increase the line width to 2 pixels. Let me make it 2 pixels. By default it's 1 pixel. So I have, I'm slightly increasing its value. So this is our pattern. So next up we need to use the pattern and draw something on our main canvas. So its fill style must be assigned to with the actual pattern which we just created using create pattern method. So the first parameter is the pattern canvas and the second one is repeat I need to I want to repeat this pattern across my main canvas here I am taking a rectangle let me make it 100 pixels 100 pixels x-axis and 100 pixels y-axis and draw a rectangle of 150 and 150 width and height let me first see it on the browser Later on we can make some changes to it. So this is our 115 to 150 rectangle filled with this pattern. Let me increase the width to 250 and height to 250 pixels. And look at it on our browser. So this is our rectangle filled with our pattern. Well let me take this off and draw, a, draw an arc. 
that is a full circle let me start the circle at 200 pixels x axis and 200 pixels y axis with a radius of 100 pixels start angle is 0 and the end angle is 360 degree which means a complete circle we need to stroke it in order to see it on the on the canvas remember we are stroking it not filling so pattern doesn't appear on the canvas yet so this is our plain circle since we have fill style here we need to call fill method in order to see our pattern reflect on our main canvas and it's working let me also have stroke style to it i'll assign some coloring to stroke style let me assign a pink color because it's light looking and it may look fine here so yeah it's pink color border now let's also apply our previous tutorial knowledge that is about shadow if you want to have have a look at shadow elements please visit technotip.com and search for shadow color on canvas i'll assign a black color shadow with a blur of 10 let me also see how the offset works here looks on this the property name is shadow offset x and shadow offset y i'll give its value as 10 so let's have a look at it on the browser so this is offset value let me give negative values here the shadow shifts upward here okay for me let me just remove these offset values it looks better without them so this looks somewhat like a 2d object we can we could use our patterns knowledge and shadow and all our previous canvas html canvas knowledge and 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 also create some simple html5 games so just start learning these things coming up we will also see transition and some other advanced canvas operations please share this video with your friends on facebook twitter linkedin stumble upon etc uh, also stay subscribed to our blog technotip.com and to our youtube channel and please don't forget to like and share this video on youtube like this video on youtube